The men and women of the Florida National Guard are proud, dedicated, and ready to serve when called upon. Their strength, their willingness to work hard, both in their military roles and at their day-to-day -day civilian jobs. I'm Sergeant Kyle Morgan. I work for a national pizza chain, and I'm also a first area supervisor at a national drugstore, and I make Florida stronger. I'm Gina Jankowski. I'm the Vice President of Human Resources for the Brumos Company. And by hiring veterans and service members, we make Florida stronger. In December of 2010, the national unemployment rate was 9.8%, but as more than 2,400 soldiers of the 53rd Infantry began to return home from the largest single deployment of Florida National Guard soldiers since World War II, the Adjutant General knew the unemployment numbers his soldiers were facing or even worse. Our biggest formation, our 53rd Infantry Brigade Combat Team was deployed and we started getting uh, anecdotal evidence that there was a jobs problem when they were going to return. So we conducted a survey and uh, when we got the, the figures back, 37 percent was the number I, uh, I recall, that, uh, that concerned us deeply and so we evolved this task force into the Florida Guard Family Career Connection. The mission for the Florida Guard Family Career Connection is to find not just a job but meaningful employment for our Guard men and women, to get them on a good career path. And honestly the job is life changing because if you go from having a job and going to school and being a student with low income and going to um, making over 50000 a year is really, it's really life changing. Um, I'm, I'm humble and I really, I really, I won't take it for granted. There's a huge difference between a civilian uh, first year trooper and a military first year trooper. And there's a built in leadership role there that they can start to again mentor and lead their peers. The, the military ethic of working hard, doing the right thing, whether or not somebody is looking. I'm an independent operator well away from our headquarters and that's something that only military folks understand and it's part of our core values. My name is Matt Holtzman. I work for Microsoft as a technical account manager and by hiring veterans and service members we are making Florida stronger. I'm Private First Class Eduardo Marino in the National Guard. I'm an air defense operator and maintainer. I'm also a manager in a restaurant currently studying aerospace engineering at the University of South Florida and I make Florida stronger. My name is Captain Teresa DePinto and in the civilian world I did graphic design and web content management and I'm going to do the same thing for the Florida National Guard and I make Florida stronger. Veterans and guardsmen are team players. They understand putting the team before their own self-interest uh, will build success for that team. And that team can be a company. And I think employers are starting to, to really pick up on that. We are the Florida National Guard, and we make Florida stronger. We look for like combat engineers, basically work on construction equipment. Uh, that's what we do. Uh, there's a lot, I interviewed a couple today that had electric power generation experience. That's what we do. So if we can find a job that sort of builds on their military experience, as well as help us in our career and help the, the Guard keep those people in the Guard, that's what we're here for. Every day we see our uh, brothers and sisters go off and be citizen soldiers, and not only do we support them, we want them to be citizen soldiers. I served in the United States Army for 24 years, uh, three tours of duty in Iraq, and I know what it's like to be in the post 9-11 military. Uh, they've been used to being part of, part of a team. Uh, in some cases, they have led teams. And in all cases, they know what good leadership looks like, and they know how to model that to others. Safety is a way of life at CSX, and I know that National Guard have safety training, and they're safety-minded, and they, they have a safety mindset. So that's initially what we look for in a National Guardsman. They look for, for that particular job outside work experience, which we do a lot of here in the Guard. Um, we look for mainly safety, safety issues. I've actually um, gotten some experience operating heavy equipment in the Guard, which is going to help me with that job as well. I mean, here working on helicopters, I'm going to be working on trains. I mean, I've never worked on a train before. But as far as here, the unit, uh, safety is a big issue here when working on, working on the helicopters. And safety is the number one thing in CSX. So I think that will, help, that will correlate over to the civilian side. With the National Guard, and you know, as you move up in ranks, you know, I've, I've been in for three years now, I mean, you learn leadership and, and discipline and all the different values, and not only with CSX, but with any job, those are core values that employers look for. You know, I look at it as a fabric. I mean, we are all part of this fabric. We're not individual threads. Uh, we come together, employers, 
guardsmen, guard leadership, uh, civilians supporting us in the communities, all of us uh, come together and weave this fabric that we rely on heavily during emergencies. Uh, we rely on heavily to, to fight and win our nation's wars when necessary. Uh, all of that is necessary. And so, you know, all of these people coming together and in a, in a, in, in proceeding out in one direction uh, makes us all stronger.